Hi, hello, and thank you for joining me on my very first um, virtual market. I'm very excited, very nervous, and I'm praying to the tech gods that everything's going to be fine. Uh, this is a new uh, kind of setup that I'm trialing this time around, and there's quite a lot of work involved sort of setting it up. And hopefully it's going to go OK. Um, I've got my lovely assistant in the background. She's going to help me with uh, comments and questions and um, um, answering, well, getting the um, orders processed. Um, so first of all, as you're coming in, uh, can you let me know where you're um, watching in from? Are you watching on Facebook or YouTube? Just uh, let me know in the comments. Quite a few people online already, and um, hopefully I'm going to give it a minute or two. And hopefully there's going to be a few more coming in as well. Oh, exciting. Oh, hello. Who's that? Hey, your Dilly is watching on Facebook. That's exciting. Anyone else on? Hey, Teresa's here. Hey, Teresa. I'm glad you could um, watch. Anyone else? Anyone else? Um, for the for this evening, I've decided that I'm going to stick to the water to kind of calm myself down, and then later on, I'm probably going to have a drink. So if you want to, if you've got your drink today, or if you've bought your drink, um, we're going to share drinks later on uh, throughout the evening. Anyone else in? Right. So if you haven't uh, if you don't know me or if you haven't seen me before i'm my name's nick i run in craft corner and i'm like the chief uh, maker so i make all the products um so i make baby products so baby gifts like bibs comforters sensory toys that sort of thing and i also make um keepsakes out of uh, clothing uh, so look, bears cushions blankets that sort of thing so from baby clothes or um, adults clothes um, I started this business back in sort of tw I started in 2012, um, kind of just before my second baby was born, and it's more of a hobby. And then once she was born, I kind of knew that I didn't really want to go back to work um, as as I was. I was doing full time. Uh, me and my husband were passing in the wind, so it wasn't it wasn't really a good balance. So after um, after she was born, um, I gave myself that year um, what maternity leave and said yeah i'll give it a go and at the end of the maternity leave uh luckily i was able to uh give in my notice work my three months i had to and then from the first of january 2014 i went solo on my own flying by the seat of my pants as they say and it's been i've never looked back i kind of never regretted sort of making that decision and it's been really exciting to kind of uh, meet lots of new people um not just like customers that i speak to so i do i used to do a lot of events um this year i haven't done any events well online events but i did one event in february <laughs> and i've kind of avoided doing any kind of other ones in between like lockdown so anything i've been doing is online which is kind of works for me because i kind of want the balance between sort of looking after my kids and being there for them and also um being able to work and sort of pay the bills and that sort of thing so it's um, great. So tonight is going to be a fun evening. It's gonna we're gonna have questions. We have games, a game, it's a competition, and plenty of plenty of stock that to show you. I've kind of not hoarded, but I've kind of kept a lot of the stock that I've had from um, previous events, and obviously I haven't kind of pushed it out enough. So I've been accumulating, 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 and I've got loads of it. So this is just very a small part of what I've got and hopefully you'll find something that's um in, that you need to buy want to buy and tick that um thing off your shopping list oh so what else have we got any more comments who else is here oh hello kate you're all right kate is my assistant she'll be the one who's answering any messages in the comments or if you um order she'll be the one who provides all the um, payment details who else Oh, Katie, Katie's here. Yes, I'm super excited as well. So how is going to work with ordering? Yeah. Oh, that one. 
a child trying to um, uh, life bomb me. Um, one child is down, asleep, two upstairs, hopefully, and daddy is kind of um, dealing with them too and keeping them kind of quiet and entertained and kind of away from me, bugging me. Because I know they want to be on, um, but want to be on live as well because I've actually made it onto YouTube and they haven't yet. So I've kind of got brownie points on that one. Uh, who else is on? Oh, yes. They've kept some good in. Yes, really good. Looking forward to seeing what you have on offer for Christmas. Great. Oh, I have a lot. Uh, hey, Kate. And who else? Oh, no, Lisa, you're not that late. You've, I've only just started. Um, I'm just doing the introductions. So you haven't kind of missed any, anything yet. So what we're going to do, well, the ordering process works is um, I'll show you the items. Uh, I've listed the names of the um, designs. So all you need to do is uh, send me a message, um, probably on my Facebook page or Instagram page, and then Kate will reply with um, like payment details. So that's all you have to do. Uh, there's free postage on everything. So whatever price there is, that is it. There's no kind of extra costs involved. So we'll start with the first products we've got, which are the dribble bib sets. And so, so dribble bibs. Dribble bibs, um, babies go through tons and tons of them. And I know when mine were little that um, I found that the shop bought ones used to um, used to go through loads of them because they're really thin and they wouldn't absorb the uh, absorb the dribble. So I came up with these uh, dribble bibs. These are bandana style. So they're not you get different styles. So you get the ones that have the um, loopy bit, so like a gap. But with these, the benefit to the bandana style is the middle bit, actually, um, under the bit that goes under the chin, actually rolls over. So it looks like that, but it gives an extra like layer, so that the dribble has even more uh, material to kind of soak into before it gets to their clothes. So that's the kind of benefit to the bandana style. And all my bibs come with, I don't know if you can see it, but toweling backing. It does make it thicker, but I, I find that over like microfiber or um, fleece they actually um they hold the dribble more so it's kind of more absorbent this is what what you want really especially when you're going through two or three a day well three or four a day maybe depending on ways these all uh, they're all suitable for newborn you can wear them for uh, they're, they're suitable from newborn up to around three years they're, there's only one uh, pop on them easy poppers but it means that unlike the velcro ones they can't pull it off themselves so you can take it off and you can guarantee well you can kind of hopefully they'll stay there and they won't be pulled off by by your baby so i've got a few sets to show you first let's have find them there are there we are here we are so these i've, I've bundled all, bundled them all up into sets of three so at the moment uh, dribble bibs on my website are five pound fifty, or you get three of them for fourteen pound. So with these sets, because they're all pre-made and um, and they're kind of ones that I'm trying to sell through now, uh, I've reduced them down to twelve pound. So each set is now twelve pound. So you get three bibs for twelve pound, including postage. What a great deal! So um, so do you want to have a look at any of them in detail? Let's have a look at the comments. Hey, oh, who's that? Ah, oh, Louise. Hey, hey, how you doing? Um, are you watching on Facebook? I imagine so. Most people are watching on Facebook. Um, <coughs> but it would be interesting to know if anyone's actually watching on um on YouTube. <laughs> right, so let's have a look in some of these in detail. We got which one's not that one. I've got so many here. I'm trying to remember which one's which. So for the the red bit, the red bundle. That's a, you can't really see the mini stars. So we can see those cute mini stars. How cool are those? You've got springtime. Your butter uh, butterflies, what about ladybirds? Ladybirds on those. 
and strawberries. So if you're preparing for maybe you're expecting a summer baby, spring baby, these would be actually be ideal for them, even if you don't want to have them for now. That's the first bundle. That's the red one. So I've got two of the red bundles left. What else have we got? No comments. Who else have we got? Can I see the element bundle? Sure, definitely. Yes. Try to be organized. Here we go. So the elephant. Oh, where are we? There. So the blue elephant, you get like a safari looking one with all the um, lions, birds, so it's giraffe, and then the little mini elephants. That's quite cool. Yep. That's that one. Who else was it? Oh. Lisa wants oh Lisa wants pirate bundle one. Oh wow. So that's that's for you, Lisa. What's that one? No, pirate bundle two. Pirate bundle one. Here you go, pirate bundle one. So that's where are we? So the cream pirates. You got skulls. And the blue part. The blue pirates. I love this one. I love the skulls actually. I can vouch. Oh, as you say, I can vouch for these bibs. We go through enough of them. Yes, they are fantastic. Oh, let's put that one to one side. So that one's sold. That one's sold. Right, the elephant bundle has gone by the looks of it. Uh, let's have a look. Yep. So yeah, they are. They do wash very well. Um, I've had um, past customers that have um, had them for their first baby. They've washed really well, and they've kept them for a second one, especially when they're um, having the same same gender. Um, they've lasted them ages and ages. So I can definitely say that they will last you a long time. They're not kind of wear now, throw away in a month's time. They will last you a while. So bundle number two, pirate bundle number two. So I agree, Lisa. We love them. Yes, they are very good. And you've had you've got some to come, haven't you, Mel? Um, I'm just making up your uh, elephant. Um, probably weekend, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday, but it's all ready to go anyway. What else have we got? Oh, I just asked for the elephant bundle. Fantastic. That is saved for you, Teresa. Uh, if you send me a message, I think Kate will deal with that for you um right so pirate bundle number two which is the blue pirate one which is very much like the uh the cream one but just with blue and the blue pirate how cool very piratey i'll, I'll save all the pirate jokes very bad jokes so that's that done we put them right so what's next Woohoo! We've got Christmas. We've got Christmas ones coming soon. Can't wait. Wow. Yes, you have. It's going to be very exciting. So that's that for the first set. There is the second set, which is these ones. What we've got. Uh, which we have more organized. Oh. So the pink pink monkey bundle, I think you can kind of get an idea of what they were. But this is cool. It's tie dye. Kind of very unisex. Pretty bright actually. Very unisex. So you can probably wear this boys or girls. I think some people might find the pink too pink, but I think it's great for unisex one. You've got the scooters. That's that. I don't think I've actually shown anyone actually. And the pink monkeys is a popular design. Really popular one. Um, I do the pink and the blue monkeys, but I haven't got any of the blue monkey um, uh, design made up. So I haven't got any bundles for that one. So that... <sighs> oh, hey. Uh, Lisa says the princess one is so cute. It is. There is a couple of, uh, there, I think there's two princess bundles. That's the first one. So that was the pink monkey. 
What was the next one? The dinosaur. If anyone actually, there is four of the uh, pink monkey ones. There's only one of these ones. One of the dinos dinosaur uh, bundles. So you've got cute dinos, blue and orange and green. You've got the boys that play, which are like rockets and shoes and skateboards and things. And dinosaur bones. I don't think they're really dog bones, but could be dog bones, but they're definitely look they're more about dinosaur bones than dog bones. So that's those three. There's only one of these left. So if you want that one, let me know. Oh, okay. Right, what's next? The uh, next one. Anyone else? Oh. Can I have the pink monkey? Oh, there we go. Kirsty, can I order the pink monkey, please? Definitely. I'll put that one aside. Okay, so there's three of those left now, pink monkeys. So what's next? The next one would be the transport one. There's three of these ones, three of the transport ones. It's pretty cool. It's quite, um, I've had this print for a long time. This one and this one. All around transport. So planes, trains, helicopters, trains there. And yeah, all the words to go with it. That was a quite cute bundle together. So that's the transport bundle. Where are we? Really need to get used to this. Transport bundle. And the last one. So there's three of those. And the last one is the princess. There is only one of these. There is the princess one. I think I've got some taggies coming up in this, uh, in the princess one. Oh, can you see it? Don't really do very well with the light. It's all bunting. Oh. So birds and bunting. And cute little bunnies. Orange and green bunnies. That's that one. Last one of that to go. Oh, tempted by the trans. Oh. Oh, tempted by the transport now. <laughs> Don't worry. There's um, I think there's two more, two more bundle, two more pages left to go. So I'll show you the other two. So the next one is this one, the animal. It might be small in here, you know, like like Lisa. Right, animal, animal, animal. Oh yeah, right. So this one. I've got two different sets for the animal bundle. One is um, the blue gingham, and one is the yellow gingham. So, so you've got, that's the blue gingham. That is the yellow. Oh, it's just too bright, isn't it? It's just too bright. That's the yellow gingham. So, there's two different sets, but each one comes with either the yellow or the blue. But you guess we get the drafts. And you get that's a popular print. I think I've got that online on the uh, website as well for the um, taggies. Really cute. Good for a, um, like a new newborn or maybe the neutral gender neutral baby. There's two good bundles. Oh, some more, more comments. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, please, can I order the pink monkey bundle too? Yes, definitely, Katie. I'll put that one aside for you. That means there's only two two pink monkeys left. Pink monkey turns down well. Who else? Oh, oh, the animal bundle is lush. Yes, it is very cool. I love it. And um, so the next one would be the red and the red and blue. I couldn't really come up with a creative name for this one, so. Keep it simple, red and blue. You've got turquoise flowers. Actually, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, turquoise flowers. You've got a little red riding hood with the um, fox and mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. And again, the mini hearts. That was a red one. There's only one of these, one of the red bundles. 
Uh, you're welcome, Casey. Um, right. The next one would be the birds. The birds, the birds, the birds. There's only one of these as well, actually. If, with this bundle, you get little mini birds. Red, blue, yellow, green. Very neutral. Uh, yellow gingham, which, seriously, I like. It's not very, not very great. And you can see them. Red animals. You get lions, tigers, zebras, all different types of animals on there. That would be the red bundle. Uh, the bird bundle, even. There's only one of that left. And the last one is the princess two. Which is, there's two of these. Two of the princess ones. So yeah, again, you get the princess. You get the different colour. Like pastel. Yeah, pastel colour hearts. And you get the strawberries. I think on the picture, you definitely can't see that very well. And if I can get the light right, maybe I see it on there as well. So that's that. There's two of those bundles left. Before we move on to the next one. I think the next one is the, the last one. No, that is the last one. Actually, no. I'm wrong. That is the last one for the um, dribble bibs. So if you've got any questions about the dribble bit, the, the bundle, dribble bit bundles, uh, let me know um, before I move on to anything else. And while I'm waiting for any questions, let me know, have you started your Christmas shopping yet? Have you started? Have you, are you done? I know some people have already started wrapping. I'm not that, um, I'm not that organised this year. Normally I would have done it maybe mid-October, I would have started. I just, I don't know, I don't feel inspired to kind of um, get my own shopping done at the moment. But I kind of, at least I know what I want to, um, yeah, get this year. Oh. Oh. Any comments? Any comments? Oh, I need to slow down. Oh. Oh, at least it's done and mostly wrapped. I think I've seen some of your stories. You must have a lot of um, presents to wrap. But it's kind of, I suppose, it's good with a baby. You kind of get organised because you never know um, what time you've got. And everything's all over the place. So you get done early and out of the way. Uh, Kirsty's finished my wee girls. Good, good. Have you done, is that all of, is it just hers fin done? Or have you done, like, all the presents you've got to get? Because I know we've got one present for my daughter. Um, she's getting a phone. She knows that. She picked out the um, um, phone case. <laughs> so she knows she's getting it. But it's kind of finding the other little bits to get her. And I know as they get older, the presents are just, just going to get more and more expensive. Aren't they? I've got Lisa. Stay. Lisa, I've done nothing. <laughs> Well, I've done a few, but I suppose you're a bit further behind me. So get started, I suppose. Well, maybe maybe you've already started because you just bought that um, bundle. Maybe that's a Christmas present for someone. It's metal, metal say. I've got Lola's first birthday. There's presents all over our spare room. I don't know what's for what. That's it. It's their first birthday. They kind of don't really realise it. So you can kind of spread it out. So... A, I suppose that's a good thing with having their birthday so sort of now on Christmas you could just spread it out until they're a bit older and then it becomes a problem where you have to kind of because it's a really really expensive time of year isn't it I suppose uh, put aside would like me to process this cool right Kate's on the case uh Shannon Shannon says Hardly started. Usually go Black Friday shopping, but not this year. Have you not seen anything you like? Um, I've just been kind of bombarded with Black Friday emails that I've kind of gone blind to it. And uh, if, I, if an email says Black Friday, that's most, most of the time it's been deleted. Unless it's something I know that I actually want. It's just, I don't know, maybe because it started so early and there's been so much going on. that No, I'm not interested anymore. So turn it off. Um, yeah. 
So I have I bought one thing in the Black Friday sale. What do I think of it? I don't think it's even in the sale. It's just a, a really good price anyway. And I'm also looking for through a lot of the uh, audiobooks. So the, if you're on Audible, uh, audiobooks, some of them are three quid at the moment, which makes them a bargain. Seeing as you get three credits for eighteen pound, it's like half price of a normal uh, credit book. So, but so that's what I'm going to go for. What else? So let's move on. What have we got? Competition time. So we've announced this competition? Yeah. Right. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm hoping it's going to work. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, me trying to be clever. Um, that didn't actually work at all. So you saw the bundle. Uh, I'll tell you through it, talk through it again. Um, so in that set, you get uh, a Yankee candle box set, uh, the Johnson's baby bear bedtime, bedtime bath, uh, two face masks, Radox bath salts, uh, a box of Maltesers, uh, the extra large, extra large one, um elephant taggy uh you get the um elephant um double bib bundle you get the elephant teething bundle which is the teething bib and the teething ring and uh the panda nappy wallet as well as which is not in the picture the 25 pound voucher to spend on a keepsake in 2021 <sighs> so that um bundle is worth um over 100 pound itself and I'm going to give it away um, over the next couple of days. So what you need to do to enter this competition is to take a selfie, a screenshot. Some people are not happy, they're not uh, comfortable with selfies. So a selfie or a screenshot um, of, of something of you watching this live or a product that you've seen uh, that you love. Share it on Facebook, Facebook stories, Instagram, Instagram stories. And be sure to tag me using at InCraft Corner, or you might have to use you can use in, at InCraft Corner on Facebook, and it will come up with my name. So as long as you tag me, I can see it. I can enter you into the competition. And also, if you purchase tonight, you also get entered into the competition. So <coughs> get sharing, get buying. Um, the competition is going to be open until monday evening the 30th at 8 p.m so if you're watching the replay you can still um you can still enter you can still share take pictures but obviously only if you enter more times that's fantastic but you only get one entry into the competition so you don't get multiple entries for multiple shares so <coughs> sounds it's really exciting <laughs> any comments hi Teresa. yes um i, I hope you could hear me Obviously, I didn't try that. I didn't test that part of the tech out, and it didn't really work to plan. Never mind. Uh, hiya, Incraft World. Thank you. Can we wait and see if I get more of the best? Yes, Kate. Just keep just keep track of whatever people want, and we can process it all at the end. This says it looks great. It is a fantastic bundle, and it's going to go to one lucky person. And I will find the list. 
I'm sure you want to know what is actually uh, what scents are in here. In the candle set, you get the cherry vanilla. Um, I think it's tea lights. You get a small uh, white linen candle. You get a large fresh polisetia candle. You get the medium uh, cozy up candle and also a small citrus uh, gingerbread candle. All in that gift set. How are we doing? Oh, getting through this water. I don't normally talk this much, so I'm kind of um, end up drinking a lot. Very exciting bundle. Yes, it is, Kate. Very. Oh, what's that? Will you be uploading anything that doesn't go tonight to your Instagram? Um, I possibly could do. I haven't thought about going. What's what's going to happen beyond tonight? I kind of put all my energy in tonight. Then maybe when I sleep on it, I might actually. I'm, I'll have a look. I can always send you a message. Whatever happens, but you can watch the replay back again over the next few days if you kind of miss something or maybe you want to catch something. Want to find something else that's popped up later. <laughs> So next one, we're going to go with the uh, the teething models. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Here we are. So this is the first four teething bundles. This comes with a teething bib, like so, but like the dribble bibs, they are just as a as absorbent as the dribble bibs, but these are handier because they had the teether at the end. So as you think, as you may well know that babies love putting everything in their mouth, anything they can grab hold of. So having the teether at the end of the bib means that they can quite easily grab it, chew on it, and also it means it doesn't drop on the floor, doesn't get dirty. And you're not constantly having to clean it up. Yeah. Those are, that has the same poppers on the back. And then with the teething rings. Okay. Teething rings. These are great because they're baby's love just to, to ruffle the back. Nice and soft. They'll chew on the ears. They'll chew on the ring. They'll pretty chew on everything. And the wooden rings are made uh, made from maple wood. Uh, perfectly safe to use. These are also CE tested, if any, if you're kind of wondering or worried about that. So perfectly safe for babies to chew on. And you'll probably find that they, they won't leave it alone. I've had a lot of um, uh, past customers saying you know, that they, they went straight for it. They haven't put it down. They've loved it. So I want to show you one quick thing. Because I know with the these um, teething rings, people they, they, people buy them, but they don't know how they kind of work. So maybe kind of they they kind of get loosened off and they kind of get taken apart. And then you're left with these two bits, yeah. And then you're kind of wondering, what do I do with that? Because you kind of you got that bit and that bit, and I don't know how it works. So I'm going to show you quickly how it works. Uh, so you take the um. Two. That way. You take the um, take the bunny ears. You put the ring through the top. You take the two ears. You have to push it up through the ring and through the front part, so you can pull it. And that's as simple as it is to put back together. So you can wash these. Um, yeah, wash these as normal sort of clothes. I wouldn't put them in with anything harsh, and I wouldn't wash it with the ring on it. So I'd always take it apart to wash each part separately because you can wash the wash the ring in warm soapy water, dry it off. Don't don't let it submerge in water, otherwise it kind of ruins it and it just goes a bit manky and mouldy. But you can wash them separately so you can put it back together and let your baby chew on it again. So let's go through these. Let's go through some comments. So I've seen some more pop up. <coughs> hey Dilly, yes, amazing bundle. Which one are you looking at? There's this four on there at the moment. <coughs> oh. I love them. I bought one for my nephew when he was born. Did you? I think you did. 
can't have a trolling board. I can't have a trolling board now. Can you explain what CE tested means? Right, yes. I'll leave that there. <coughs> well, basically, um, toys have to kind of, you know, toys have to conform to a certain standard. So whether they're made in a factory in China or in the UK or handmade, they have to um, abide by certain regulations. I think it's EN 71. And basically it means you have to, they have to be safe for the baby to eat. So there's no harsh chemicals in the materials. The wood is safe to um, safe to chew on, for them to chew on. It's untreated, so there's no other, no other chemicals in the wooden part. And it's been yeah rigorously tested to make sure that they don't come, come to any harm. So I would hate um, for a baby to be harmed in a process of one of my products. That would be kind of devastating to me. <coughs> Thank you for that question, Kate. Oh, is that the competition bundle? Ah, oh, yes. The competition bundle is, is amazing, isn't it? I'm loving the strawberry teething bib, though. Could I order that, please? Yes, you can. Well, I haven't explained it yet, but yes, you can. I'll put that one to one side. I have a couple of those. What side? I haven't even forgot. Uh, yes. So we have another five of those. So as you saw, strawberries. Strawberries. I think they're all red on the back. All of them are red. Uh, what's next? We have the pale blue. You can't really see that on the picture. It's quite hard to see on that picture. But it's a bit more, a bit like the turquoise one, but it's just a pale blue version. It's very uh, Kath Kitson style. That's teething with teething with. And this one has got, they've all got the same, but they've got the um, the little pink flowers on the back. Really cute one. That's pale blue one. And I've got a few with pink and a few with blue on the um, teethers as well. Pac-Man. I love Pac-Man. I'm very geek geeky. I um kind of met my husband, uh, met him online on Facebook. Um, because we used to live like 170 odd miles apart, we um we I bought an Xbox 360 and we started playing games together so that <clears throat> we could talk online, play together, and that's that's kind of how we spent like the first six months before I could actually see a lot more of him, and then eventually. I think it was about nine months, well, nine months after we kind of first met, he moved down here. So gaming and gaming has always been a big part of my life, <coughs> just like the Pac-Man. So if you've got a gamer, a gamer parent, this might be very good for them. Yellow on the back. <coughs> and the last one on this one is Crocodiles. <coughs> it's white background does look a bit blue uh white background green crocodiles so you got green don't show it very well green on the back as well <coughs> that's for the first set so i think i've got a couple more sets to go have a look. Could I have the crocodiles, please? Yes, you can, Lisa. I'll put that on the side for you. So there's one more crocodiles left now. One less. <coughs> right. What's next? So let's go to the next. Oh. I'm going to be pressing that one. Right, next one is this one. Here we go, next lot. Yeah, that was trucks. This, I think, I haven't, I've had it a while actually, trucks. Love the diggers on it. 
Then you've got no toxic anyway. Pretty cool. What's next? The pink monkey. There's two of those trucks left, and there's only one pink monkey. So I'm pretty sure might have a fight for this one. Seeing as pink monkey was quite popular last time, it might be, it might be popular this time. And this one's got the pale pink on the back. Pink monkey, one of those. Helicopters. Right, we've got two helicopters left. I think. Pretty cool. So blue, green, orange, the main colours. And then you've got the pale blue on the back of these. And those, and then, oh, last one. It's the superior one. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough of the fabric here to make the same teething ring. Teething ring, so as close as I could get was the words. It's got like boom, pow, zap. All like the comic colour words. You can see, this one's got all, all those words. I shame, I think I think they've discontinued this print, which is a real shame because I've really loved this one. It's been really popular as well. There's, oh, there's four of those um, bundles left. If you want one of those. I'm just going to say, Kate, the helicopter one is gorgeous. It is. It's lovely. I think I've got, oh, I can't remember if I made any taggies in that either. So that's it for those four bundles. I've got the next ones, the last last set of um, teething bibs, te teething bundles, is turquoise flowers. Do you saw it's like the dribble bib? We've got blue, I think we have blue and green ones, uh, teethers on these. Blue flowers. Lovely if you don't want, um, they want like really pink things for girls. It's a lovely one for that. And then you've got that one with the turquoise on the back. Next one will be the pugs. There is... There's four of the um, turquoise flowers ones, uh, bundles uh, available, and but there's only two of the pugs. <coughs> this is kind of one of the lesser known prints that I've had. It's all about the little pugs. Uh, I think they're still popular. Are they still popular, pugs? I've seen a lot more cockapoos or mixtures, breeds of poos. Uh, Cavapoo, cockapoo. I don't know what other ones are. There's probably loads more. But yeah, the pugs are pugs are really cute. And these ones have got like a red on the back as well. There's two of those left. And there's also two of these. The pugs. Good unisex design. <laughs> Really cool, really cute pugs with um, dark green on the back. Lovely ones. There's two of those. And then the last one for this set is the boys. Which is this one. Like you saw with the dribble bib, got the rockets, the shoes, the scooters. Submarine? Submarine? And then you got the ones. One's got turquoise and one's got a, uh, a different colour on the back. That one's got little circles. It's two different ones. But there's only two of the um, two of the boys that play one. That's what's left. So any comments? Any comments? <laughs> Oh, hi, 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 Emma. Hi, Kate. Um, 
Gotta love her. Is that a caterpillar? <laughs> yes, love a caterpillar. <laughs> especially, yeah, especially like the hungry caterpillar. Um, Michelle says the bugs are so cute. They are. They, I think, I don't think I've got very much left of that now. It's been a, a favorite, um, favorite of many. But so that's that for that set. I think that is it for the teething bit, teething bundles now. And we're gonna quick, just quickly do the um, the teething rings while I've got some a lot of excess teething rings, which I haven't sorted out. I prepared everything else, but I've completely forgot about these. How are we doing? Any any other questions about the um teething bundles at all? Let me know in the comments. Oh, uh, hi Becky. Hi, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Thanks for uh, joining me. Right, so what have we got here. I won't show you them all. You can kind of see the result. This one, I don't think it's a print you've really seen much of. It's the dinosaur dinosaurs, like bright, bright, colourful dinosaurs. Which you can't really see on here. Here we go, that one. Pterodactyl, I think. Got the um, dinosaur dinos. We have got. I think I've got seven or eight of those one, those ones, and I've got quite a few of these. Um, Superhero ones, very much match the um, bib as well, but in a different color. I think that this one's discontinued as well, so I can't actually get any more. So once that's gone, that the, that won't see the light of day again. Uh, and then construction. This one's been a popular print. I've still got. Um, I'm still selling on on the website in different different items, but these are the uh, rings. I'm just one thing I forgot to do. Change the price. Um, here you go. So the teething rings are on their own. These, these, these are the ones that don't come as bundles. Are um, a seven pound, or you can get two of them for twelve pound. So that's the three of those. That's what. Find. Maybe no one wants. There we go. Footballs. I've had a few uh, people moan about this one because it's uh, I couldn't get it in red. So there's only blue footballs. So I suppose if you like Everton, Spurs, I think Spurs play blue. Man City, any any kind of blue blue team, uh, that'd be great for them. Um, but I had people moaning that I couldn't get the red version. Um, but I have got a different football version now. Um, seeing as they, I, I couldn't get this hold of this one anymore. So there's a few of the um, Football one, and then this one, which I love. Kind of got sciencey, kind of geeky things. So you got like, what is that? A uh, pair of glasses, like a um, electronic board thing. That was quite cool. Pandas, 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 pandas. Two, two pandas left. This one. I've actually I have I've got a lot of actually. I've got this one in um like a turquoise blue and I've also got it in the pink. But I haven't made anything with the pink yet. But these ones have both got black on the back. Black for the pandas. Two of those left. Oh, hang on. Comments. Let's catch up with comments. Cute. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey Toria. I didn't know you I didn't see you as one. Well. Uh thanks for joining me. Um, Becky, uh, you can wash the teeters, can't you? Yes, you can wash them. Um, uh, yes, you can wash. You, you're better off washing them separately. Don't stick them in the wash as they are. I'll show you again in case you missed it. But you get the you get the, um, you get the bunny ears, and then you wash that in uh, warm so soapy water. You can wash that in the washing machine with the clothes. Let it dry, then put them back together. So you take your ring, put it through the top, 
grab your ears and then you have to get it through through here all the way through and pull it tight that's it done so yes you can wash them um it's i think i think with all the products i've got i don't think there's anything you can't wash uh, done i know kids kind of get things dirty very easily and i've tried to avoid a lot of white where i could because it's kind of a hard color to kind of keep clean that's why you find a lot of them um, my items are bright colors because they kind of hurt to hide the dirt that's what i find anyway so two of those um two of those pandas left what else we got so i think uh what else we got oh becky yes chelsea yes chelsea blue there is that uh tori tori you, you chelsea fan are you uh do you have any football bibs and ring sets um no i don't think i've had any pre-made um uh football bibs at all uh maybe if you send me a message i might be able to sort out the uh, new football uh, print that i've got uh to make a, a bundle for you if you want perfect thanks Nick. sorry if you already mentioned it that's fine it doesn't matter um not everyone start comes on from the beginning so it's good to kind of remind you uh remind people uh who obviously if, if you at the front if, if you're here at the beginning then you would have um, heard it and you definitely know the answer now no worries we'll take what you have <laughs> that's fine that's fine with me right so the next we've got the next bundle of things okay let's find these ones Ooh. right so that's that one and that one done like bees all oh, bees bees tools yes i was talking to someone on um on instagram about the tools this was the tools um teething ring so if you've got I suppose like a dad, maybe a mum or dad that's really into like DIY or you know makes maybe like kitchens or something. This is a really good one. Hard to see. You've got screwdrivers, hammers. I need to get you for this camera. And these ones have got, I think, mostly silver on the back. They might have a couple of different colours, either blue or silver for these ones. And then the bees. The bees, the bees. Bees, all the bees. I don't think these will ever go out of fashion. Bees, winter, autumn, spring, any time of year. It kind of even like winter. It kind of brightens up, brightens up the uh, life when everything's dull and sort of tired. Bees, brighten up your day. So there's quite a few bees. I've got one, two, three. Yeah, three, three of the um, tools. And then um, there's two or three of the bees. That's we've got on here. Uh, trains, big trains. Yep. Here we go, trains. I think I was using an off cut for this one. There's a green train. Two with um, turquoise on the back, and then this one, which is a bit different. It's got like a, I want to say it's like a flower print, but it's like brown and cream with the uh, little trains on the back and the front. And there is three, you got three of these, I think. You got three of those left. Just check some more comments. uh where are we here we are right the only match that i've been to was chelsea versus arsenal at stamford bridge and they won so i guess so yes um i think i've, I've been past the arsenal stadium but i haven't actually ever been in it well i don't i don't really follow football i'm more of a rugby person so I kind of know the teams but um i kind of stay away from that uh becky loved that that's fantastic <laughs> Uh, oh, we have those ones. We love them. 
you do uh Teresa, oh my god love the bees but my bee is way too old for them yes she is uh so i think is there anything else that i can make her in bees mm, i don't know maybe there is uh oh emma you in the, you in the emojis i love it love it uh don't think she'd appreciate that as a late birthday present though no. <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> Right, so what else we've got on oh, the planes? I have to show you the planes. Planes are amazing. There's probably about 11 of these planes. But these are slightly different. So they're like all vintage. You see? Vintage orange and brown and white kind of plane, aeroplanes. But on the back, these are so soft. So soft. It's kind of it's, uh, like a swirly material. It's um, I want to say it's orange, but it looks like yeah, like a burnt orange, and it's really really soft. This one is like really comforting. I think I've got a, a grey scarf I made in in this fabric, and it kind of it just yeah you don't want to take it off. It's lovely. So there's quite a few of those, ten ten or eleven of those, and then there's these <coughs> very cute dandelions. Blue, blue with like little birds, pink, pink birds, and these got all got lilac on the back, which you can't really see because the light just makes them look like they're grey or something. But yes, it's lilac on the back. And what else we got? So put those in. Right, do we anything we missed on this this picture? I think we've every birds. Two, three, wait. Three. Got three of these, which you might not see. Maybe you do. Maybe you won't. This I've got loads of, so I'm pretty sure I've got other things on the website of this. But these are like little birds, little pink and yellow, blue birds. They've all got pale pink on the back. I've only got three of them left now. Three. Other the um ivory beds. Oh, we got uh, Toria. Rugby players have better legs. Yes, they they do. And I think I would say rugby players are better to look at. And I don't know, just watching them um, like tackle, I think is probably the best part of the actual game than anything else. Don't you think? Uh, fluff. Yes, it's very well fluffy. I, I want one of these. I want one with a bib too, please. Sure. Uh, the planes are you talking about? Uh, yes, the planes. Uh, please, can I have the dandelion one? Yes, you can. Certainly can, Holly. I will put one aside. And I'm sure Kate will sort that one out for you. Uh, there you go, Lolly. Well done. Uh, I like the planes. What's the bib set, please? Got a nephew under 12 months. The planes one doesn't have a bib set. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I've actually got any more of that fabric left to actually make you a set, you know, with that, um, uh, with the teething room. I'm pretty sure I have, but I'd have to check later on. So I might have to get back to you on that one, um, Tori, uh, regards to bundles. But I have got all the other bundles that you saw earlier. Uh, what else have we got? I've got helicopters. Did you did you see the helicopters? Um, the helicopters um, teething bundle, Toria, because that one is it's got planes on it, but maybe not the same planes. Jane definitely, definitely. Right, that's that's right. No worries, let me know. Yes, I'll let you know. I will put make a a note of it to uh, check it out in the morning, and I'll get back to you. So that's the tea, that's. Yeah, that is that picture done. I think we've got two more, two more of these teething rings, and then I'm gonna have a break. Uh, here we go. Right. Let's see what else we got. Bugs. Yeah. You seen the bugs? 
I think I've only got on its own. I've only got one bug teething ring left. So if you've ordered another bundle, and you don't want the whole bundle, but I've got one teething ring of the bugs left with uh, the green backing. This one's light green, not rather than dark green. So I'll show you the dark green one. Uh, you saw that comment. Uh, hi, Kirsty. Can I have a dandelion one, please? Too yes, sure. I will put this one aside for you. Uh, I've actually, I've got, I've got the dandelions in a, an appy wallet as well, which I wasn't going to show you tonight, but I could if I have it, ever have enough time left. Uh, what's next? Do, do, do. Yeah. Rainbows. Well, it's one I call rainbow and balloons. Because you've got little rainbows on it. Little birds, butterflies, oh, dra no, dragonflies, little flowers, and hot air balloons. This this one is gonna be um a normal print that's gonna be on the website. Um I've actually got one made of this at the moment. And it's got the thrice pink on the back. Really lovely print. Very, very girly one. There's only one of that left. Uh, well, this is uh, one person for fix. Oh, yeah. Elephant rump. There's some taggies coming up with this on. So if you if you like this print, there's a couple of other things coming up. They've got the elephants on. Um, this is the print that inspired. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. My girly elephant print. This this print inspired it because they discontinued this one. Um, so I had to kind of design my own um, because I really loved it. So one of this one, and it's got the like the rainbow tie dye kind of effect on the back. One of those left. And then there's one of these. So if you're trying to get your baby to look at numbers, a bit early to learn numbers, but it's a lovely, lovely one to look at. I think my, my daughter's going through numbers at the moment, trying to go to one to ten. And she gets to, I think, no, she gets to four, and then she ends up making up some numbers in between. So we'll get there. And that one's got over in the back. It's a very neutral, very neutral one. Uh, uh, comments, comments, comments. Uh, what was that? Please, can I have the light green back on my bugs as part of the teething bundle if possible? Sure. Uh, I'll put it in the box. Stop it up. Right, so there's, um, there's now a dark green one instead of the light green one going in as a single one. I'll put that on there. Yeah. I've sorted that one for you, Katie. Don't worry, I've done that. Oh, I love the rainbow one. Uh, could I have that one, please? Yes, Dilly, you can. It was. Down it. Here we are. That one. Yep. Yeah. I will put that one to one side for you. Uh, Kirsty, can I take the elephant too? Yes, you can, Kirsty. Uh, the elephant one. So the elephant ones have gone, but keep an eye out because there will be some other. There will be some taggies later on with this one. And yes, the fish. The fish. I found. I figured out that I haven't got very many nautical um, uh, nautical prints actually, uh, but I have got a lot of like pirates or fish or under the sea other ones so i haven't got many boats i don't have little lighthouses i don't have any kind of smaller nautical prints but i do have fish and i probably have three or four different types of different designs of fish but that one there's i think there's a bundle on the website at the moment with this and uh taggy blanket i think <coughs> so that's the fish well, that's the <coughs> oh that's a What else we got? D. Oh. There is. One, two. 
two of these. Just the um, just the uh, superhero words ones, like like with the bundle. But these two are didn't have a bundle. They didn't have a bib to go with, so they're kind of homeless and they're on their own now. Both with red backings. That's those. There's two of those. <coughs> And I think we've actually covered everything that was on this one. And I think we've got one left, one more picture left of these, which is this one. Whew. How are we doing? Are we doing all right? Um, is it, are you liking what you're seeing so far and how I'm going about it? Uh, I'd love to let me know if um, maybe I'm going too fast, too slow, anything like that. I don't know. Should I jump? I miss some. I've missed some off of it. Right. My plan didn't go to plan, so I'll go free stuff. There is oh yes, <clears throat> one of the uh, one, yeah, one of the uh, trucks, um, TV rings on their own, with uh, like a royal blue. It's got stars actually, yeah, stars on the back. Can't really see them; they're kind of embossed stars. Mm. And let's get rid of the picture. And then we've got these this is an old print that no longer is around i think i've used i've used up the last taggy but there's look there's two of these left and they've both got blue on so not great if you want a pink one you can see right that way little bunnies just white with like um grey kind of bunnies. You can see it. But if it, they've both got turquoise in the back, so if you're hoping for a, a pink one, I haven't I can't do that one for you, but I have got two other bunny prints that you can always order from on the website that you can put pink on the back. Um that's no problem. And I think there's one other what was it? <clears throat> and then there's this bunny, which is it's the one that's the normal prints, but this is um Cute little bunnies, ivory kind of bunnies, but this has got pale blue on as well. You see, very cute. But this one's got pale blue on, so I haven't got any pink with the bunnies on at the moment. Ah, comments, comments, comments. Uh, do you say thank you? You're welcome. Uh, not a problem. Um, I'm loving all of it. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. <coughs> Percy, yes, love it. Thank you. Got a couple and a box of lint balls and watching you live. Best Saturday night. Um, I did have, uh, I was, was talking to someone and uh, they, they were kind of worried that maybe I was I was uh, competing against Strictly. But then as soon as I don't, I don't really watch much TV and I don't actually watch Strictly at all. So um, I'm hoping I haven't kind of shot myself in the foot and everyone was watching Strictly and not here. So um, thank you for joining me and uh, I'm hoping you're enjoying your lint balls. <coughs> I think I need I think I need um something to eat after this. Uh ah, sorry. Ah Linda. Yes. I love the bunnies. Actually, yeah, I love I just love chocolate. Just give it to me in buckets. Um ah, those bunnies are so cute. Thank you, Lisa. They are it's just a shame that the um one of them has been discontinued and they're no longer making it. Because it's it's been, it was so popular. And all the ones just don't compare. They're not they're not not the same. Uh, Katie, thank you from me too. Loving it also. Good. I'm glad you're loving it. Thank you, Katie. <coughs> right. <coughs> right. Just double check I haven't missed any of these teething bibs before we kind of move on. Uh, oh, yes, I have missed one. I've missed a few, I think. Uh, Yes, that's that one. 
There we go. There were three that I have missed. Which was actually there's a few more I've missed. Right, so there's super kids. Super kids. It's like superheroes, but boys, superheroes. Cut most of his head off there. Poor kid. Mm. And that one's got um pale blue on the back. This one I love. I think I had it. I kind of bought it when I first started. I kind of kept hold of it. It's called Happy Hills. So you've got butterflies, very bright, funky, bright colours. And you've got flowers, yeah, flowers and butterflies, I think it is. It's a lovely print. And I've got some taggies coming up with this in this print as well. This is Cerise on the back. There's one of that one. And then this one, which are leaves, like autumn leaves, I suppose. I think I did make some bundles in this at some point. And... I used I was using up some mod uh minky for the back. Which is I think that's the lilac hearts, which you can't really see because the, the light we got lilac hearts. This one. I know I know someone was looking for elephants, and I've got the two elephants to show you. The navy elephants. There's only one of these though. Okay. So fight amongst yourself. And it's got the silver on the back, silver grey. Lovely and soft. And then the other elephant. I can't find it. Here's this one. It's the primary elephants. Perhaps I don't know. Mind. Uh, yeah, little primary a red, blue, green, yellow kind of colours with a, a red on the back. That's the two only two elephant TD wings I've got. Um, to show you tonight, but I have, yeah, lots of other elephant things. Uh, next one, will be this is um, this is gonna find some taggies in this as well. So the purple butterflies. So you got purple and white ones. Got one with black, and one with like the rainbow tie dye kind of colours. Mm. Those are really lovely. I love, I love the, love the purple. And you got cupcakes. A blue, yeah, blue background. We love you, cupcakes, and then you've got brown and yeah, brown and pink spot, well, pink spots, brown background, pink spots on there. And I think one more, last one, and then I'll move on. Which is the the pale blue camper vans. So I've got this in probably three or four colours, but uh, the pale blue camper vans with the uh, silver back, silver. That was a lovely one. And that's that's it for the TD rooms. So I will go through some more comments before um before I move on. Uh, uh Haley, so, uh, the navy elephants are super cute. They are. Um, I had them in. I've got them in different colours as well. I've got the red, uh, turquoise, uh, a beige beige colour elephants, and I've got red. I got them in quite a few different colours actually, but they, you can't get them like that anymore. They've kind of changed the design, so it's not the same kind of colours anymore. But they've, they've changed it all up anyway. Uh, who else? Hi Jennifer. Hi, yeah. How you doing? Thanks for joining me. Uh, hey Vicky. Hi Vicky. Uh, so many great gifts. There is so many great gifts. Especially if you're buying for um, a baby this Christmas, or maybe you're, um, you know, someone expecting after Christmas. So do, do you know any? Do you, actually, that's a good question. Do you know many um, babies that are going to be born in the next three or four months? Sort of the lockdown babies. So I would love to know. Um, so I don't know. I think I know one person so far that is um, expecting a baby um, sometime early next year. So that's the TD wings done. Oh, Holly. Hi, Holly. Can I have the numbers one also, please? Yes, you can. So then you get two of them for £12. Let me find the, uh, find the numbers. No. Yes, find the numbers. 
can say, take it. That's put to one side for you. Um, so next, next, what we're going to do, <coughs> I'm going to have a break from talking for a bit and uh, stop showing more products. And um, we're going to play a game. And we're going to play um, What's Your Elf Name? So I'm going to put a picture up in a minute. I'm going to leave it up there for, say, 30 seconds. Have a look through. Uh, pick, out, find, pick out your elf name uh, and put it in the comments. And, and I'll save mine until, I've, uh, until I come back. Are you ready? Let's turn this turn off. Um, where are we? Right. Are you ready to pick your elf name? Is it going to work? Right, and I'm back. Um, so that's given me a bit of time to have a drink, stretch my legs. And I see uh, a lot of people have commented. <laughs> it's quite a funny one, isn't it? Uh, I think mine, what was it? Snowflake pud uh, snowflake pud pudding shoes, which is a really, really bizarre elf name. Um, what else have we got? So let's see what we've got. Vicky's got precious sparkly toes. Oh, that's hilarious. That's funny. Uh, Holly says, joyful sugar plump. What else we got? Uh, Michelle, the sp uh, I'm sprinkles pudding shoes. Oh, I can't be sprinkles. No, I was, I was snowflake, wasn't I? Pudding shoes, yep. You're in August, you're in August uh, birthday as well. Um, and also cheerful pudding shoes. I know Emma's got the same birthday, uh, birthday month as me as well. It's cheerful pudding shoes. Uh, it was uh, candy pointy ears. <laughs> That's hilarious. These are really, really funny ones. Uh, my elf is sugar plum sugar pan sugar pants. That that's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. But what a, what are they? What an elf name. That's pretty cool. That's what else we got. Uh, Jane says sugar plum evergreen. <laughs> Uh, I'm Chipper, Sh uh, Chipper Sugar Plum, <laughs> and Paul is Merry uh, Evergreen. <laughs> Merry Evergreen. That's the. Uh, I think yeah, that's that's, that's bizarre. Uh, uh, Joe, yours is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that is that is just that is just a mouthful. Uh, Kate says Candy McSprinkles. Yes, actually, yeah, that's what I kind of suit you, Candy McSprinkles. Uh, Wendy says Sunny Floppy Feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to come up with these games. It's just really, really, really funny. I oh, love it. Uh, thanks for joining in on that one. That was uh, that was a good laugh. And right, so we're going to move on. Uh, I'm hoping you're uh, entering the competition at the moment. I uh, hope you've taken a selfie. I've seen I've seen a couple of notifications go off on my phone um, about people tagging me. So definitely um, tag me. Uh, take a selfie, take a screenshot, just take a picture of something that you've seen tonight. Uh, tag, post it up on Facebook or Instagram and tag me in a picture. And then you can get entered into the competition to win the epic bundle of goodies. And we'll pick the winner on Monday. Right. So we're going to go through. What are we going through next? The cuddle clouds. So I have a few of these that are pre-made, right? 
You, I'll explain what a cuddle cloud is. Um, a cuddle cloud is um, a sensory toy, um, a bit like a tangy blanket. It's soft, really soft, has labels on it, usually ribbon ones, but uh, I know some of them that I do online, you can actually pick different colours so that they get to play with the different textures of the labels. They get to rub the, um, the soft cloud. And it's just, I just love cuddling it. I love cuddling it. My um, kids had had these. Uh, I think when, so when I started uh, making them, they each wanted their own one. So my daughter, I think I found out, um, uh, not down here. Um, I found it out um, a couple of weeks ago. She got her name on it um, and she was really obsessed with uh, her Teddy Sonic. So she wanted Madison and Sonic on it. So I did that just because, just because I could. And then my other one had one. And now I, I, I don't think I've actually given my um, my toddler hers. I've kind of always used it as a display one. So she's never kind of got her cloud, but then she kind of gets so many teddies anyway uh, from the other two. But these are great little little soft toys that they can play with, cuddle. You can leave it in with, with a cot. And these are also uh, CE tested as well. Uh, and they are stuffed with uh, hollow fibre. You know, the sort of stuff that goes in cushions. That's in those. So you can't always see these in pictures, but they are stuffed. And they're about eight inches across, six inches what tall. So I've got a few of these to show you. Um, a few different ones tonight. But these um, normally are £13.50 and they can be personalised. The, the other ones you can um, have uh, made to order. And because they're, I've, I've had them for a while and I really want to see them go to a new home and have some more love than what I'm giving them, uh, I'm going to reduce them down to £10. So £10 including your postage. Can't go wrong with that. That will make a really good present, especially if you're kind of not too sure what to buy for a baby and you don't want to buy them like the teething bundles or anything like that. So this is the first one. It is, they've got, I don't know if you can see the colours, but it's a black one with pink and green and white spots. Really nice. I think I've got four. I've got four of those. They're really good. Well, that's your comments. Uh, Kate Jay says, love yours, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure whether I should be offended or is it a compliment that you should stick it suits me. Um... It's it's fine. It's it is what it is. It's fine. Uh, you done me a personalised one of these, and it was gorgeous. Yes, you, uh, I probably did. Um, yeah, I was saying it was quite a while ago. That was quite a while ago. Uh, you made one of these for another one of my great nieces a couple of years ago, and she loved it. That is that's amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that the that, that they get a lot of love, as they should do. Oh, these cuddle clouds are so cute. They are. They're so cute. And they're so soft. I know. If they were maybe about two feet bigger, maybe I might cuddle it myself. And Kate says bargain. It is a bargain. It is an absolute bargain. So there's four of these ones, which is the black with the, the pink, white and green spots. There isn't very many of these, so there's only a few types. The plain red ones. It's a little like a dimply kind of material. Oh, I always use a dimple one. Uh, so these are the, just the plain red. And then we've got three, four, five, five of those. Five of those. Uh, there's butterflies. Uh, I think it's a pink background. They're kind of all, all mixed shades of like pink and a like purple. I get it right. Not the best light, but you can see that that's those. There's three of those. Three of those. Then we've got this one. I think. Did I show you? No, I didn't show you that. Autumn leaves. So these are like really nice, like muted colours. So you got like the light greens, uh, yellows. Petrol blue, 
This is this one is kind of more muted than it, all the other ones I've got, but this is like really lovely with the rainbow with the with the rainbow ribbons. And then you've got uh, three three of the orange stars. It's got some tiny little stars. That's the orange one. Three of those left. All for £10. And we've got this one is uh, mint green. Uh, three. three of the mint green. But it doesn't really show you up in this light, does it? To be honest. It shows you. Taking pictures of these things is kind of a nightmare sometimes because the cameras never kind of get the right colour. So it takes me a lot longer. But this is uh, mint green. Oh, it looks like mint green. That one. We have two of these, which is the pink flowers, which you saw on the back of uh, one of the TD wings. What's it got? Just roses. Roses and little flowers. Really cute one. And I think one more. And then there's three of these. Three of the, uh, these are lime green clouds. Super cute. Rainbow tags. And what's good with these, um, if you've got, if you've taken them out and about and you've got those little chain links to, uh, toys, uh, well, I used to have them, but the little chain links you link together and they make them really long, you can actually connect them to, to here. So you can attach them to like the buggy and then they don't fall off. So it's like, you, it's kind of a bonus having like the loop on the top. It means that you can kind of connect it to something else safely and you don't lose it either. So that's the lime green one. There's three of those. <clears throat> and then there's a couple of specials. Um, Questions, questions, questions. Uh, okay. Vicky, Millie loves her cloud. She has she has it as a comforter at nursery. Oh wow. That's, I didn't know I didn't know she takes it to nursery. I know I know lots of um children take their like some of them take taggies to um nursery. So I've had to like personalise it with their name tag uh, their name's taggy. And that's really lovely. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, is it Killian? So I think I did. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lovely name. Uh, you made one of these for my wee girl Jessica, and it's beautiful. Ah, oh, lovely. I haven't made any recently. I don't think I've had that many orders for um, cuddle clouds. Can't wait to see these cuddle clouds. I'm hoping you've liked what you saw so far uh, of these ones, and I've got a couple now to show you, which are personalised. I pre -pers I made them uh, as um. <sighs> what are they? <clears throat> like display ones to take pictures of so to use for my website so now i i don't really have a home for them so i'm hoping that you either know someone with their, this name or if you have a, a baby with this name then you can grab a bargain uh oh so tempted yes i, I seem to like making you spend money don't i lisa <laughs> Uh, could I order the mint green cloud, please? Yes, you could, Dilly. Um, I will add that to. I'll add that to the pile. Put aside. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <clears throat> right. Let's take this off. So all those kind of clouds are ten pound. The ones I'm going to show you now are all. Where are we? Are all thirteen pound fifty? But these are all personalised ones, so they're normally uh, fifteen fifty. But these ones are all now. This will be thirteen fifty. Okay. So this one, red one with Arthur. So if you know an Arthur, and they would love this as a present, get this one. There's only one of these. It's actually only one of all of these names. So it's an Arthur. There is a, pet, a lilac one. Thea. Very popular name actually. I think I've done Theodora's Theas and I think another one's so lilac with um, yellow writing. Thea. That was lovely. 
there is a Charles. And I think I did this originally uh, when um, Prince Louis was born. You know, Har um, Prince William's uh, son, uh, Louis, was born. So I did Arthur, Charles, and Louis. But obviously, Louis sold very quickly and got uh, Charles. Charles on the turquoise blue. And then you got Ezra. Do you, know, do you have anyone called Ezra? Do you have one, someone called Ezra? They would love this. £13.50 for these. These are amazing. Next one is Ella Rose. Can't really see the colour, but it's, this is the pale pink. And you see what I mean about different coloured tags. I went with the, the grey pink and uh, the white tags on this one for Ella Rose. There's a, a couple of I do these in um, different texts as well. I think there's four different texts you can choose from when you make when you order the made to order ones on the website. So you can choose the text, name, color. I think I have the name put on it. Uh, next one is or oh, Lottie. I've got a Lottie one. I don't, know. I don't know why I don't want to let this one go, but then I don't know when it's called Lottie. Um, bright yellow. Rainbow tags for Lottie. Do you know anyone called Lottie? That'd be a good one. And then the last one is Henrietta. I know I know a little girl called Henrietta, and I thought this was good as a unique kind of not girly kind of colour. Because um the person who um who has a, a, a girl called Henrietta is not very um not into all the pinks. So I thought this was a good one to try, uh, as good as a display one as well. So if you know a Henrietta, that'd be amazing. <coughs> right. Comments, 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 comments. Uh, I, I've i got a pile already. I'm excited. Yes, your pile is getting bigger. It's, it's definitely getting bigger. Please, can I have a black and spotty cloud, please? Yes, you can, Holly. I'll put that one to one side. That's one in the box for you. Ah, oh, lovely. You take Alison, uh, a theatre cloud on offer. Uh, <laughs> tag Claire, uh, a cuddle cloud for Lottie. Mm. Uh, Toria, thank you. I love this. Good. I'm glad you're loving it. Uh, I've kind of, kind of got way past the nervous point. I'm just kind of um, hoping that I'm covering everything that I should do in my own head. But lovely. Thank you. That is that is all for the, the Cuddle Clouds. I didn't have very, very many of them to show you. So I thought I didn't want to overload the evening. We're already gone for an hour and a half and I could keep going and going and going. And we've still got just the three types of taggies left to show you. But I suppose... What I, what I should mention now is, uh, did anyone bring a drink with them tonight to the to the live? Are, are you, what what are you drinking? Because I've got, I haven't started it yet. But I bought mine. I'm I'm not a wine drinker. I'm not a cider drinker. Uh, not cider. I'm not a gin drinker. I, I'm a cider drinker. But um, I like the the fruit ones. So not I don't I, I did start off with the apple, and then the pear, and then everything kind of got too strong, and then I kind of and now on the alcohol free. Because it tastes a lot better than the um, it tastes less less strong than the full um, alcohol one from Aldi's. But do let me know what you're drinking. Um, it would be good to know. We've got Linden Pools, and what you what you're drinking with the Linden Pools? Is it wine? I can't remember. I really can't remember. Uh, Toria, I might have some rosé. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Have you tried that gin yet that you were uh, given? Uh, Michelle, I drank mine. It was hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows. Ah, yum. I, I've got into the habit of um, putting Baileys in mine. So instead of putting milk in, milk in it, I put the hot chocolate powder, the Baileys, and then the water. And that's lovely. Fact is, it goes down too quickly, though. So I could have like, I could have like three or four of them and have way, way, way too much Baileys. Um, that's good. Good, good. Uh, Diddy, yes. G&T with my all-time fave blueberries. Ooh, I like to be different. 
that's definitely different. Is that blueberries in the GNT or is that with the GNT? Mortimer's Orchard is my favorite cider. I don't think I've tried that one. Um, is that an apple one or is that? Sounds like an apple cider, uh, Mortimer's Orchard. But I've tried a, diff a few different uh, the, the fruit ones and I don't know, I've kind of stuck with um, the one I like, which is the strawberry and lime. I don't know. Um, like, I like the Copperberg as well. Copperberg strawberry and lime. Um, it's just I find that the Audi one is cheaper. And, and the alcohol free is 85p, so I can drink that all day long. And I don't get drunk and I don't get tired because if I drink, I get, I get really sleepy. And I don't really want that right now. <laughs> I, need, I need to stay awake. Um, uh, I'm on the wine. Is that red or white? Red or white wine? Uh, Kate, just finished my glass of red wine, a nice one from the floor region, uh, where we visited for our second wedding anniversary. Oh, very posh, very posh wine, right? Uh, Kirsty, salty caramel hot chocolate with my lint balls. God, uh, that, that's, that sounds like heaven, man. That, that's like so, salt and chocolate overload and sugar, salt, chocolate, sugar overload. Mm. Oh, nice. Um, maybe I can have a, a hot chocolate once I finished on here. Might might help me unwind ready for bed. <laughs> Blueberries in the GNT. Ah, oh, that's that's. I don't know why I've, I've never tried gin. Um, maybe maybe I'm weird. Uh, I've never tried gin. I just don't tend to. I tend to, I tend to stick with what I know, stick with what I like. That works. Uh, Toria, it's Western's premium. Uh, Western's uh, premium premium. Cider, beautiful. Maybe, maybe I can have a look. At, I'll look it up. <clears throat> Jealous of all this alcohol, I'm drinking boring lemon and squash. Well, don't worry. I am normally on the water. I thought I bought two glasses with me because I, I, um, my husband's trying to keep the kids quiet, so he can't exactly come ferrying me with drinks. So, kind of keeping it comfortable with water. I just try not to drink it too quickly, otherwise I'm constantly wanting a wee. Uh, 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 white, lovely, lovely. First, second, third, whole, whole bottle right now. Um, Lisa, I'm getting very jealous. Uh, what me not having not drinking tonight? Uh, Ben, hello, Ben, hello, Ben. How thanks for joining me. Uh, Michelle, I never tried gin either. It? Well, good. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <coughs> um, so what do you drink instead then? Michelle. Uh, oh, hi, Ben. Yep. You're not missing much uh, with gin. I'm not a fan. Okay. I think I'll, I'll stick with what I like. Okay. So, great. Glad you got your drinks, which are alcoholic, non alcoholic. So, next, I'm going to show you the taggies that I've got. I've got three different sizes. I'll explain them all in a minute what they are, what they, how they work. So there's three different sizes. I'll, I'll show you the different sizes. Uh, let's see. Right. Let's get myself ready. Right. Okay. So, actually, it'll be easier if I turn this off. Right. Uh, this one. Right. So, a taggy blanket, if you're not too sure. Is uh, it's like a sensory toy, a bit like the cuddle cloud that you saw, but it's a sensory toy, like a blanket, mm. and I do them in four different sizes. But I've only dug out the three, the three smaller sizes to show you. They have the uh, ribbons around the side um, because babies, for some reason, really love to find the labels and they love to fiddle with them. So if you find you buy them any toys or clothes, they'll go straight for the labels. Probably because it's soft and it's sort of soothing and comforting. So putting ribbons all the way around acts as tons of little labels for them to play with. And the fact it's soft on the back and it's cotton on the front means it's, it's just more textures for them to explore. And you'll often find that they'll, they'll probably hold on to them as they go to sleep. And so it's kind of a, com uh, it's like a comforter, security blanket. And they kind of go by several different names. So it, I just call them taggies because that's how I know them. But you kind of got blankies, tag blankets, tag comforters, whatever, they, whatever you want to call them. So we'll come back. So whatever you call them, this is what they are. <clears throat> so.
So this is the regular size. Comes with 16, 16 labels on, four on each side. You always tell my um, my taggies because they have my label on. If you ever see, you always find this label on my taggies, so you'll always know it's mine. And if you're ever unsure what size you want, if you bought one or someone's given you one, and you're unsure what size, you always count the, the tags on the on the one side because the regular has four, <coughs> the large has five. And the extra large has seven. And the pram blank has nine, but yeah. So you can always gather um what <coughs> by how many tags there are, what size it actually is. So if you compare them, because it's, it's I've done pictures of this, but sometimes it's quite hard to kind of imagine in your head what size it really is. <coughs> so against the person, if you can get this. It's right. There we go. Is this going to work? No, it's not going to work. Yellow on yellow. Right. That wasn't a clever idea. Right, here we go. Can you see three different sizes? I don't have it on. The, the, red, the red one on the front is the regular. The yellow one is the large. And then the pram blanket one is the biggest one. And the, bracket. the extra large is the green one, the big one here. So compared, the extra large is a lot bigger than the large. It's kind of like almost like four times the size of the large. But if you look at these two, there isn't much, too much difference in these two between the regular and the large. But I find sometimes people buy the um, the regular ones as a starter sort of size, and they find that that's not big enough, and then they go for the large. So that's, that's the three sizes compared, just in case you're wondering. So now you know this, I think, I think there's not a not huge different, much different. There's not a huge difference between the extra large and the pram blanket, but there is a little bit. So we'll go through the um, regular ones first. Uh, yep. Oh, here we are. Uh, I just I like to experiment with spirits and fruit, but gin is my favourite so far. Oh, lovely. Uh, maybe another one. Yes, gin is either you love it or you hate it. Is that a bit like the marmite? Don't know why. Uh, I like twiglets, but I hate marmite. Is that weird? Uh, do you have a blanket in the plains fabric? Uh, not that one, but I have a different one. I have a different fabric. I do have a different uh, plains. Uh, oh, century interesting. It's very interesting. And these are not just for babies either. Um, so I've made um, I made the tangy blankets for uh, older children with sensory needs, uh, as well as um, uh, I think there were I want to say teenagers, but they're kind of like 11, 12. They were going up to secondary school. They obviously had a sensory need, but they didn't want to have like a blanket that they carried around in school. So I made like pocket size ones. Uh, for a for a few people, that the that their son could put in their pocket, uh, as just like a little comforter, so that if uh, if they had uh, ever had an issue, they could just grab it, and it wouldn't look like it was out of place. You know, it wouldn't look like it was made for a baby or anything like that. So um, I've done they're not just for babies, uh, but I do sell a lot of them for babies, and I think especially you could have them for um uh, for the elderly as well for um people with Alzheimer's. But I know a lot of people try to get those uh, the fiddle blankets that have different textures and things on them. <coughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Well done. Thank you, Ben. Uh, uh, try Geneva, the inspiration object. Oh, OK. Uh, you made a regular one for my baby, Olivia Lucy, earlier in the year. I loved it so much it's gone in her memory box as it has her birth details on. I think I need one now for her to actually play with. Can't wait to see these. Yeah, I know. It's it's such a shame sometimes when people people only buy one and then when they're uh, when their baby loses it, they're in very, uh, they're in a panic. <laughs> I can't yeah, it's because the baby won't sleep without it. So I've had a lot of frantic messages saying, How quickly can you make one? My my my, my daughter won't sleep. And I've had to kind of 
that's why that's why my turnaround time isn't that long because I know people uh, people need these products now to kind of help with their children. So I make them quickly. And but so yeah, turnaround time is pretty good on on these. So if you ever need a kind of a backup one, so you buy one, you think you've lost it. If you message me, I usually can get one out to you within a day or two. <clears throat> but yeah, it's usually good to have have more than one as a backup, just in case you might lose it or they might drop it. Because uh, I know my um, my husband's done that some uh, one time where uh, <clears throat> my she was a baby. I think she was about 18, 19 months, and she he took him he took her out in the buggy, and she just lost it. She lost this comforter and she just was beside herself so and it actually I don't think it was a comforter it was a, some sort of toy that I couldn't make so I was trying to find another one of it that um that she would so that she could settle herself it's a nightmare uh that's what I'm thinking it's something for my older son who has sensory needs uh with his autism yeah they, that will that would work um there might be some, yeah, there might be some adult, well, not adult, but more grown-up designs that might be suitable for him. Uh, my husband still likes rubbing the tags in his clothes, particularly when it's an uncomfortable situation. That's it. It's, it's some sort of, it's, it's a security for him, isn't it? I suppose it's it's comforting and it helps him. It's kind of his way of um, dealing with like a stressful situation. So let's go through, um, let me set up. Um, let me go through these ones. Here we go. Let's put myself back to normal. Right. So it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but we'll go through this anyway. Um, the elephant romp, which you can see, which is like the, um, I think the taggy one was navy blue. This one is the green, but there's only one of it. So if you like that one, that one's good to go for. That's the regular. It's all the regular size and they're all eight, eight pounds. Including delivery. Right, we've got next. Here we are. This one is amazing. It's uh, red, uh, red, brown, and like orange boxes. That one is a lovely one. There is uh, six of these, I think. And there's two different colours. There's either, if you can see it, like a tan brown, like a coffee colour, and then you got the the bright orange. So that's the two that's the two colour backings we've got for these ones, for the um, yellow foxes. And there's I think three of each: three orange, three tan. Right, hello kitty. I think this is a scrap that I used up. Plain white, got a kitty on it. And you've got two with the cerise on it, and one with the uh, pale pink. Can't really see the colour, but it's pale pink. So you've got three of those. And then there's one of these. It's upside down. Hedgehogs. Uh, I, I want to say it's red. It's kind of a ready orange colour, that one. That's the hedgehogs. There's only one of this one. But there is another one coming up in the large size as well. I know that. It's those ones. Uh, uh, Charlie has three comforters in case we lose one. And all the same. Exactly. It's it's kind of... It's better to be, better to be prepared, isn't it? Uh, I definitely recommend ha having more than one of the same. Yes. Uh, I love the one you ma you have just made for my great niece with the giraffe fabric. Her parents had their first date at Mar Marwell Zoo, and my nephew proposed to his wife behind the giraffe house because they are her favourite animals. They then got married in the zoo as well. I'm sure the giraffe tagging is going to be very popular. Wow. They love the zoo. Wow, that's amazing. It's, it's good to hear who, who the taggies that you order are for. So I love hearing the stories. Right. That's, that's the first set. On to the second set. 
which is these. Yes, do it that way. There's quite a few of these ones. Right, so forest number one, I don't want to really know what to call them because they both have foxes and things in them, is so, cute fox, raccoons, flowers, very girly, I suppose, very girly. But these, there is, hang on, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these. We've got three or four different colours. Yes. So you've got four of the lime green. Are we? Yeah, lime green. One of it's the mint green. You can't really see. One of the mint green. One of the it's like a lemon yellow, which you still can't see. Lemon yellow. And this one, the pink swirly one. A bit like the orange one you saw on the planes, but this is the pink one. There's only one of this one, the pink one. But four, four of the lime green, one of the lemon yellow, and one of the mint green. Uh, right. Next one is forest two. It's only two of these. Which has, I think, I think this one's quite, quite cute as well. But it's a pretty more gender neutral if you want it, or for a boy. So this, this one, with the the raccoon, the fox, and the deer, isn't it? And the hedgehogs, and these both got orange on the back, bright orange for these for, uh, forest too. Next one is uh, navy bees. Navy bees. This one actually does a lot better than the um, other style of bees I've got. The um, like is it the sky blue ones? Sky blue bees. This one's got bright yellow on the back. Both. There's only two of them. They both got yellow. Then lastly, is the transport one. Which I love. White with all with buses, cars. Uh. Yeah, tow truck. That's a pretty cool one. And we've got five of these ones. You've got two of them with uh, the turquoise backing. And uh, three of them with the uh, red backing. So you've got five of those in total. Uh, next one is that one. Oh, maybe we've got six. What's that doing in there? Next one is the trains. We've got three trains. Right. Choo -choo. And they've all got turquoise on the back. All turquoise. Three trains. Uh, next one is the pirates. So if you've got a pirate bundle, this might work out. The blue pirates. Aha. One, two, three, four, four, four of those. Four pirates. Three have got turquoise. We've got one. Let's got blue stars. I think this was like a, maybe not enough cut one they had to use up. But cool. Bit different to it, all the other ones I've got. So three turquoise, one navy. Next up is the red chevron. Actually, I found two more, two more pirate, and they've got the red on the back. So you've got red, turquoise, blue, and navy in the pirates. You got the red chevrons. Yeah. One, two, three. 
got four of those, all with red on the back. So great if you don't actually know what you're having or you're buying for someone who doesn't, is not going to find out until after they're born. That's a lovely one. They're lasty. It's just like Candy Crush, isn't it? They're sweets. I think my husband was obsessed with Candy Crush for a while. Not so much now, but um, it's a lovely one. Bright colours. You've got four of them. You've got lime, two lime green, one mint green, uh, one red. It's four of those. And that's that one. Uh, Holly says, navy bee is very tempting. There is, there's two, there is some navy bees in the uh, larger size as well. If you, uh, depending if you want the regular or the large. Uh, what's next? Aha, Welsh fans. Any Welsh fans in? Two Welsh flags. Oh, sorry. I did have loads more of these. I think I've sent, I've sent most of these to people who are actually in England rather than actually in Wales. And the red on the back, obviously. Can't have anything else but red. For the Welsh flag. Uh, camper vans. Just one of the many colours I've got. Right. Sorry, it's camper vans. Pink ones. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five pink camper vans. And we got two with bright yellow. That's your pretty. Yeah, one with lemon yellow. And two with pale pink. Of the camper vans. Next one is the blue camper vans. Yeah, right. The blue one. The dark blue one. But this one, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five of these, you've got. Two, two with navy on, and three with uh, lilac. It's unusual, but the lilac does go really well with this um, with this print. I really like it to get together. I love it. So three lilac, two navy. And lastly is the red stars. Red stars. We got four, four red stars. Two have, two have the red on the back, and two have the like the uh, black and white chevrons on the back. Just something different to look at. So I think uh, the black and white are one of the first. Was it black, white, and red are the first colours that baby see? I'm pretty sure it is. We make it up. So that's with those. That's that bundle. Uh, we've got one more. Got these two left. <coughs> oh, cool. The owls. You see the owls? Red and yellow, orange, brown. One out. One of these left with the orange on the back, and then. Like the, like the teething ring. You've got the purple butterfly. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And they all have, you can see the, the lilac, the lovely lilac colour on the back. All six of them. And that is the end of the, um, the regular taggies I've got. 
Uh, I'll show you the uh, large ones as well. Check us any messages. Camper van is gorgeous, and my oldest love camper vans. Oh, do you do you like? Yeah, so I've got pale blue or normal blue, but yeah, um, the uh, darker blue, isn't it? You like? Well, we're nearly there. We've got two more things to show you. Two more sets of things to show you. Right. Here we are. So this is the, the large ones. The large ones are normally, the regular, the large ones are normally uh, £14. But the ones I'm going to show you tonight are £12. The first one is the Lady Bees. Upside down. <coughs> Here you go, Navy Bees. Both with the bright yellow. Really bright and stand up. Uh, the next is the Princess one. So I know you like, it's a couple of you like the Princesses. Princess one, the large, the large size. Uh, one pink and one, no, one pale pink and one lilac. There's two of those. Next, we have the trains. We have three of these. One turquoise. Uh, one. Yeah, pale blue, one pale blue, and one like a blue stripe. This should be different. <laughs> and lastly, it's the grey stars. I've now got um, a new permanent kind of grey star design um, that I'm going to be running all the time. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of using up what I've got now of them. Um, these type of stars, which is different. And the bright yellow. Bright yellow on the back. <coughs> Next ones. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Purple cloud. Way. Purple clouds. There are three of these, all with the, the purple, soft purple on the back. Uh, next up is the Purple butterflies, two of those with the lilac, lilac backing. And this one's good. Child of the eight, child of the nineties, but uh, cassettes. Whoever who remembers cassettes, you know, who's got any cassettes as you left? I think my uncle still plays cassettes, but that's a bit of a retro one. Well, that you maybe kind of understands what cassettes are, but. I think the parents love it more than anything else. There's three of these, uh, two lime, two lime, and one turquoise. Uh, next up, last up, the owls. The owls from last, I had this, the uh, regular owls. This is the large one. They're all orange as well, all orange on the back. And there's uh, four of those, four of the owls. Uh, next up, and that's that lot. There's only a couple of pictures left. Uh, there's two more lots of the um, the large taggies. Here we are. So cupcakes. 
three three cupcakes, three large taggy, uh, cupcake taggies. Three of those, two cerise, uh, bright blue, pink, and uh, one pale pink. <laughs> uh, Lucy loves the cassettes. It is, it's very retro, isn't it? Retro is coming back into fashion. And I think I think everyone should have a cassette. Yeah, if yeah, everyone should have a cassette, Taggy. Um, I am slowly converting all my cassettes to digital, especially all the Thai pop music from when I lived there. Wow, you still got tapes from tapes from then? Wow, I think I don't think I've got any left. I think either I must have lost them when I was moving years ago, but I don't have any cassettes left now. Uh, next up is the Hearts. This one's a little bit different. Because the hearts, it's, it's, like a, it's a different type of softness, but it's still soft. It's really soft. And on the other side, it's like a, a pink, like tartan, I suppose you'd call it. Pink tartan. But this is this is the side. The hearts are the lovely. And there's four, four of those ones. Next one is the Happy Hills. Let's go with the let's go with the teething rings. You've got uh, which way is that way? The Happy Hills. So you can probably you see the be the print better on here than you can on the um, teething ring, but it's like a really nice girly print. And there is um, four of these. Two have got this the. Uh, uh, three pink on it. One has got the turquoise, and the other one is a little bit different because it's got uh, like stars. You see, stars. There's only one of those ones, but there's two pink and there's one blue one. And then lastly, here is the hedgehogs, which you saw as a regular one, but I've got a regular and a large. Here we go. You've got three of these. Uh, two with like the really orangey colour. And one with the uh, like the tan coffee sort of colour. What does it say? Uh, my dad still listens to records. Wow. I know, actually, I, I think there's still quite a few people that actually collect records. I think you can still get them in some music shops and, you know, with modern music, but. I don't really know anyone that plays them. Uh, uh, Michelle, oh, hello. Uh, I'm a bit older than you. Yeah, lots of cassettes. Yeah, you can't be that much older than me. And it doesn't mean I haven't, yeah. I don't think I don't really need cassettes. I don't, I don't really need CDs, you think. Just give me Spotify, I'll be happy. And then the last two, which are these two, very cool, racers. So if you like hot rods or that sort of thing, cars, that is really cool. There's only one of it though, with the turquoise on the back. And then, yeah, like with the uh, like with the regular one, there's one large one and one regular one with the uh, purple on the back. And that's it for the large ones. I've just got the uh, the extra large ones to show you, and then I'm kind of all done. <sighs> uh, comments. Take this off. The comforter you kindly made me for Salvador was worked into. Uh, has worked its magic. He ran into school with no tears last week for the first time. Oh, that's so amazing. So, oh. so it's obviously his a little bit of comfort to kind of give him the security he needs to go to school. Oh, Lucy, that's great. It is just amazing, isn't it? How uh, like one item can, or one little thing can uh, mean so much. So next up is the extra large ones. So these are normally uh, £22, 
uh, the unpersonalized one. You can buy the pers you can have them personalized. Uh, not these ones, but uh, other ones you can have made to order personalized for um, it's twenty four pounds. So personalization is usually two pound on top of the normal normal price. Right, so this is the first four of the extra large ones. This should be this one. I'll have to go back a bit more. So this is the uh, turtles. You can see the turtles. Put a bit close up. Better. That's the turtles. And that one it's got the bright yellow on the back. I made this originally. It's like a, a neutral for a neutral baby, but it kind of never sold. I don't know why. It's kind of a really. It's a lovely one. So what's next? Okay, come on. So next one up is the patchwork. Nice, lots of different pinks. They look very floral, floral and spotty, and that was quite big. That was the extra large, and that was got the um. So there's, there's two of them. Uh, I think they've both got mint green on them on the back of these two. A bargain for eighteen pound. Uh, what's next? This one, Enchant. Let me see that. Uh, where is it? Like houses and foxes. Fox on there. Lots of different ones. So there's two. Two, two, yeah, two of those. Two of the enchant ones. They both have the uh, red and blue, red and pink and white uh, zigzags on the back. So that's. It just says that's so pretty. I kind of, kind of wish I could have another baby. That's a lovely idea, but I think you, yeah, you think you're done now, aren't you? Uh, and last one is superheroes. Superhero. There is one, two, three, three. Yep, yeah. three of these ones. All, uh, all with turquoise on the back. Next one is for you, Toria. The planes. You're looking for planes. Here you are. This is the the. Apart from the other ones, uh, this is the only. Well, the, the extra large planes. You have a look. Very more more vintage planes, I think. Maybe something you might like. And this one, there's only one of it, and uh, there's. Turquoise on the back. I think that might be something you're looking for. What's next is the fairy. Go backwards. Uh, oh. Here we go. Very light, this one. It's not a very bright one like I normally would do. But they're like light pink, purple, and sort of yellow fairies. And this one, like the other one, it's, it's, it's like a swir the swirly pattern. This is the purple. Lovely and soft. But there's only, only one of this one, one of the fairies. Next one is the trains. I think we saw this on the other two sizes. The choo choo train. There's two of these. Yep, there's two of these. Both with the turquoise. Turquoise backing. Extra large. So if you think for a newborn, this will this will last them a long time. My three-year-old still has her uh, pram blanket size now. And she, yeah, three and a half. 
and it kind of it covers her body completely now. But you know, imagine when they're younger, uh, and that's a large one. I'm lost them for years. And then lastly, and the ivory floral. This is ivory floral. Yeah, white floral. White floral. So I've got this in pink as well. The pink one does really well, but the white one doesn't. But this is the white one. There is one, two, three, four. Four of these ones. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of different colours as well. Yes, there is. Yes. Right, so with these, you've got two that have the cerise pink on the back. And two of them have... The uh, chevrons, pink chevrons. It's a lovely one. And what else we got last? We've got two more to go. Two more, two more pictures to go. Uh, can, I, can I take the ferry? Yes, you can have the ferry. I can find where I put the ferry. Yeah, the fairy's there. Right, yeah. The fairy is in the box for you. Michelle says, but I'm looking forward to having the blanket made for the boys out of their babies old baby clothes. Yes, you are. I think I need to message you about that. I think you'll want you to order soon. Around Christmas. Um lovely. Right, the so last two pictures. Is it two or three? Maybe, maybe it's three. Right, here we go. Close down. Yeah, three pictures. Here's a ladybird. Come on, the right way. It's a, that's a cute one. For a little girl. It's got red on the back. There's only one of it. One ladybird. Uh, next is not that way. the navy elephants. See, super cute. I think there's only one of this as well with the uh, mint green on the back. Different one. Green stripe, but with the. Uh, rainbow dots this one was a really popular one and this is kind of the last one i've got this now this uh green stripe one so that might go quite quickly oh well, he says oh my god the ladybird one it's very cute isn't it it's very very cute I think lastly on this picture is these hideous not like the other ones but these are many Mini uh, strawberries. Mini, mini strawberries. That's why it's so funny, I suppose. And there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, four of these. Two have got the mint green. And two have got the red. Red on the back. Right. Yeah, there. We've got two more. We definitely have two more now. That's it. Two. Right, here we go. Go backwards again. We've got the music. Music fans? Last one I've got this one. The music one. It's got I'll say le yeah, lemon yellow on the back. Pale yellow. Uh, cupcakes. It's like the small ones, but this is the big one. The extra large size. There it is. One, two, three. Yeah, three of those. And they all have uh, the cerise pink on the back. All, all of these three. Uh, 
and then the girly elephant. This is another cute one. I think I pick a lot of cute designs. So that's orange, green, teal, orange, yeah, orange, green, teal, pink elephants. Really lovely. I think I've got two. Yep, two of those. One's with the cerise pink. And one of them's got that um pink chevron on the back. And on this one, the ivory butterfly. There's a navy version of this as well. I think does the navy does better than the um this colour. Butterflies. Pinks and reds. And the and the beige. And that one, there's only one of it. But it has the cerise pink on the back. Oh, last, last one. Here we are. Last three. Take the best for last. Right. The mushrooms. So you have a lot of girls' ones in the extra large. The mushrooms. There's two of these. And yeah, they both have the um, pink and white chevrons on the back. Both of those. Uh, here we are. Superhero. Just like the TD ring. You get all the words. The turquoise, turquoise one, not the black one. Superhero words. One of it with um, the red on the back. Lastly, this one's cool. This one's a double sided one. So the front is soft and the back is soft. So these these are two minky ones. You got the it's a, a pale yellow, lemon yellow, and then you got the superhero print. These are both soft, both of these, and then you got the blue on the back. Hold up, a patchwork, but the boat is soft on both sides, and there's only one of it left. So I'm hoping it's going to go tonight. And that is it. That's all the products I've got to show you, actually. That's all the taggies done. And yeah, I think I've done. I've gone through everything that I've, I was ready. I was going to show you tonight. So if you have any questions about any of the products, if anything, you want me, want me, if you want me to show you anything again, uh, let me know in the comments now. Um, I'll hang about, have a drink um, while you um, do that. <laughs> <clears throat> any other comments any other comments have you got bibs yes i've got bibs um i've got i did the bibs earlier this, uh earlier in the live if you maybe want to go and watch back but is there anything particular you're looking for boys girls might be able to show you quickly which ones. Uh, thank you ever so much for the show and go and get a well earned rest afterwards. Can't wait to get my stuff. Yeah, it's it's been a lot planning and it's been a long night actually. I kind of was really nervous about it beforehand and now I'm kind of buzzing and I kind of um I need to kind of wind down before I get get into bed. And I hadn't actually expected to kind of make it to what nearly two and a half hours. Um, I was I was hoping to get to two hours. That was fantastic, but I think I probably could have. Um, if I brought out all the products, I probably could have been here for three or four hours quite easily. Um, but I think I don't. I don't think everyone wants to sit here and watch for that long. Um, but that, it's it's been great that um, you've joined me tonight, Kirsty. Um, I appreciate it. Um, yes, Kate. The competition. Um, so the competition. I'll show you the. Yeah, I'll show you the picture again. 
You won't hear me, but you can see the picture. That's what you get. So in the um, bundle, you get uh, the Yankee Candle um, box set with the, the fragrances, uh, the Johnson's Bedtime Bath, uh, two face masks, uh, a Radox bath salts, uh, a box of Maltesers, uh, the extra large elephant taggy blanket, uh, three dribble bibs, the, the elephant bundle, and a teething bundle, um, yeah, yeah, the yellow, yellow elephant teething bundle, and a nappy wallet, as well as a £25 voucher that you can get to spend on a keepsake in 2021. So to enter the competition, all you need to do is um, take a selfie uh, of you watching this uh, or a screenshot of something you've seen tonight that you really love and share it on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, make sure you tag me uh, at In Craft Corner. Uh, it will we'll work on, it'll definitely work on Instagram and you might have to play around with it a bit on Facebook to get it to show up. But tag me so that I can see it and you'll be entered. So, and anyone who's purchased tonight uh, also gets entered into the competition. So, I'm I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of people entering. And I will pick a winner. Uh, the, the competition closes on Monday at 8 p.m. And I will pick a winner on Tuesday. And I'll probably go live again to announce the winner. Um, so, if you're watching the replay, it's fine. You can enter. If you're watching the replay after Monday at 8 p.m., uh, there's no point entering because we can share. I would love if we shared, but you wouldn't be entered into the competition. I hope that helps. Uh, Kirsty said, that was great. Well done. I could have spent a fortune and really enjoyed the evening. I, that, I'm glad you loved it, uh, Holly. It was the first time doing it. And um, I know it's kind of worked for other people, but I've never tried it for myself. So I've never known if it could work. And I suppose if it if it's worked that well, I might make it into a regular thing, maybe once a month, once every month, every other month, depending how much stock I've got to show and uh, sell in an evening, I suppose. Uh, OK, I will watch back. I don't know uh, what she's having yet. OK, there, there is some there are some neutral things in there. Uh, yes, there's definitely some neutral things in there you might like uh, that one might be suitable for you. Uh, okay, when is the closing date for the competition? The closing date is Monday, the 30th of November at 8 pm. Uh, so, all uh, entries, I'll go through every day, make sure that I've, I've checked notifications uh, and write your name down. And after that, uh, I might get one of my kids to pick a random name out of a hat and I'll announce it live the winner of the competition. Uh, if you order tonight, do you still need a screenshot selfie to enter the competition? You don't have to. No, uh, if you've ordered, then you, you're entered into the competition. But I suppose just sharing sharing is caring. I am um, sharing helps me to uh, be seen by so many other people, uh, people that obviously don't know that my products exist and that could help them. So sharing is caring, but you don't have to if you bought if you bought. Uh... Right, there you go. Yep, yeah, I think Kate's answered the other one as well. Okay, well, if there's no other questions, um, you've had a great evening. I'm going to go and unwind. I'm going to pack all this um, stock back up into its boxes. And uh, thanks for joining me. It's been a fantastic um, evening. And I've loved uh, being on here and talking to you all. And um, hopefully, if you if you love it, if you think I should do this again, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, so I will do it again. Um, kind of suppose the more I do lives, uh, the easier it gets for me, and the more the more I do it. And uh, Joe's comments. And this is keeping us in suspense, so I will stick to it with neutral. Well, maybe if I can get any um, uh, hints out of her from my husband, because my husband works with Alish, uh, I will um, see if I can. Um, Drop any hints. But anyway, yes, there will be a lot of um, a lot of neutral stuff in there. <coughs> and Kate, oh, hang on, Kate, amazing, Nick, well done, and thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, it's been a good evening, and so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I hope you've had a good evening, and I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Thank you for all those that have bought. 
it's uh, very much appreciated. Um, I, I do appreciate every single order that I do get. Um, I do have uh, lots of other made to order items on the website. I've dropped the link in the, um, in the thing on the bottom. So if you want to go and order anything else, you can do uh, personalized items. I, I've got, you've got until the 7th of December to order any other baby items from the website to arrive before Christmas. Um, no other keepsakes at the moment, but I'm taking orders for kind of after Christmas now. So I'm kind of, once I've now done this market night, I can now concentrate and do all of my um, keepsakes that I need to get done in the next, what, four weeks. So <clears throat> thank you again for everyone who's come and, uh, who's been on and watched. Um, I will say good night and I should probably see you again. Thank you.